I have worked for the Shenzhou Ling for 10 years. We're going to reach depths of up to 40 meters below sea level. This is the first time to do this job like so big tunnel in the world. The method of tunnel construction has never been tried anywhere in the world on this scale. The Pearl River Delta is southern China's main waterway. Along its banks lie some of the largest metropolises on the planet. And today I'm here to check out an infrastructure project that will link two of those cities across this vast expanse of water. Now this project is interesting because it won't only make the lives of local people more convenient, but may also revolutionise the way these kinds of infrastructure projects are constructed around the world. But to find out more, I'm going to have to go and catch a boat. The project I've come to check out is known as the Shenzhen Link, which once completed will constitute a 24-kilometer major transit corridor between Shenzhen and Zhongshan in Guangdong province. This is Raymond. He's been working on the project for around 10 years. Shenzhen Link is a very big project for me and for China too. So why did you decide to build the bridge in this location and how long did it take? Um, Hong Kong joined Macau Bridge in the south, right? So, in the cold area of the Po River Delta, we can we, we don't have the the link between east side and the west side. So we need to uh, build up the link in the cold area to connect the east side of the the, the west side. Plan it to build it up, finish it uh, in 2024. We try to. So right now, if I were to drive from the middle of Zhongshan to Shenzhen, how long would it take? Uh, if we use the Human Bridge, maybe two hours. So wow. if we use the Shenzhen Link, 20 minutes. Wow, wow. Okay, I can, I can really see why this link is needed. This is a difficult place to build a sea crossing. It's 24 kilometers across, thousands of ships come through here every day, and if that wasn't enough, it lies in the flight path of one of China's busiest airports. To overcome these challenges, the link integrates two artificial islands, a series of bridges, and the world's widest immersed tunnel. So we've arrived on the island that connects the bridge to the tunnel. Right now we're walking on sea level, but as we go further into this tunnel, we're gonna reach depths of up to 40 meters below sea level. So we just build it on the... The tunnel is where this project really comes into its own. Most sea tunnels are built under the sea floor, but the rock in the delta is too unstable, meaning that could be dangerous. Instead, engineers decided to split the tunnel into 31 steel and concrete sections and then place them directly in the water. The sections are constructed on land and then carefully placed on the sea floor. Immersed tunnel is a very special structure. It's not like the traditional tunnel. Actually, it's the hydraulic engineering plus the structural engineering. So that sounds like a really complicated way to build a tunnel, as opposed to a traditional tunnel where we are buried maybe under the seabed. Why did you choose this method? Quite a lot of reasons, but uh, the main reason is immersed tunnel, it, it's better than the shield tunnel in the Po River Delta because of the function. We got the rock under the, uh, the water, right? But in this area, the rock is cracking. If we do the shell tunnel inside, maybe it will collapse it because it is cracking. The, but the immersed tunnel, they, ha, they don't have this problem. We just laying down on the uh, seabed. So has anywhere else in the world constructed a tunnel using this immersed method on this scale before? This is the first time to do this job, like so big tunnel in the world. Wow. So uh, this is the biggest immersed tunnel in the world. So uh, it, we got eight land. 6.8 meter, kilometers long, so it's the biggest immersed tunnel in the world now. This tunnel will set a world record as the widest immersed tunnel in the world, and it has sparked much interest in the technology. With proposed projects around the world, the success of this tunnel will mean immersed tunnels are set to become far more common. 
Wow, what an incredible day. From the bridge towering high above the waves to the artificial island to this tunnel going deep beneath the sea, the scale of this project is incredible. But what I think the most amazing thing is the fact that this method of tunnel construction has never been tried anywhere in the world on this scale. And that means it could be the future of tunnel construction all over the world. I'm in Zhongshan. Stay tuned with China Matters. Thank you.